Hi everyone, my name is Father Sam Kachuba and this is Faith Friday. I'm making this video pretty well in advance of the season of Lent, but I'm making this video for somewhere around the fourth or fifth week of Lent. Here's the idea. At this point in the season of Lent, you might be struggling. I know I will probably be struggling at this point in the season of Lent. Why? Because all that prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, it's been a few weeks now. And it's hard to sustain that level of prayer. It's hard to sustain that level and that intensity of real, true devotion. So keep at it. Persevere. The whole idea of this season of Lent is to teach us discipline. Maybe at this point you've fallen a few times from your goal of your spiritual discipline. Maybe you've forgotten to fast. Maybe you've broken that promise of what it was you decided to give up. Uh, maybe you haven't prayed the way that you want to. Maybe you haven't had the chance to give alms or you haven't been as generous as, as you ought to be or could be. All right, fine. Maybe you're struggling just to keep persevering in this Lenten season and to get something from it. Maybe you feel like you haven't done anything. Maybe this has been the best Lent of your life and you're doing great. Whichever it is, persevere. Keep going. Keep moving forward. If you've fallen a little bit off track with your Lenten discipline, start again. Do it again and start now. We still have some time left in this Lenten season and God is never done with us. He's never done with you. So even if you feel like you've failed a little bit, even if you feel like you haven't done everything that you ought to do, go back. Get started. Persevere. If this has been the best Lent of your life and the discipline is going really well and your prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are bearing much fruit, persevere. Keep going. God has more in store for you. May this Lent continue to be fruitful for you. May it start being fruitful for you. And may you enter deeply into what it is that God has in store for you, that you may meditate fruitfully on the mysteries of our Lord's passion, that you may grow in His grace and in holiness. God bless you.